and welcome everybody I'm Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com thank you so much for joining me today I've got the July 2024 astrology overview so this is just a quick overview of the movements of the planets what's going on your individual horoscopes will be on my website in great detail so I will leave a link that will help you find those they are in a sense much more in depth than what my videos were I'm really sorry I'm not doing the videos at the moment I've just been so busy I haven't had the time to do it but I want to also do some really interesting I'm getting really interesting ideas I just haven't had the time to do those either but it's coming won't happen overnight but it will happen be patient all right let's go to the board now and here we have the overview now you'll see the first thing is there's a minor grand trine here that will be for many of the signs but not all of the signs but it will tell you in your individual horoscope so it involves Saturn and Mars and uh, Venus here and a trine is like an, between Saturn and Venus is like a very easy smooth flowing sort of energy that doesn't present a problem or a challenge it just naturally happens Saturn here in your subconscious is not entirely at home however it could bring more self-discipline more structure and stability stability in your life like you might find yourself more willing uh, to go the hard yards uh, making a try and here to Venus and uh, both of these are funneling their energies towards the focal point here which is Mars Mars already has a ton of energy for ambition achievement get you on your projects and all that kind of thing so Saturn's going to help you out and Venus is going to help you out and so together you're likely to accomplish much this month okay on the second we have Neptune here and it's going retrograde now of course depending what star sign you are all of these planets and this trine will be in different places so unless you're in Aries don't pay attention to this 12th house or any of the other houses because they will change depending on the sign however Neptune going retrograde is really calling you to have plenty of time for self-reflection go within get in touch with the real you and especially the spiritual side of you and your intuition and this is a really strong message I've been getting a couple of weeks now and of course that's completely normal because we're in winter time it is time to stay close to home if you can rather than it's different if you go overseas of course like if you're going into the northern hemisphere they're in their summer so that's a different kettle of fish but if you're at home here in Australia or New Zealand stay close to home it's a good time to look after yourself some self-care pampering massages things like that and also look after your family and Neptune is saying you need plenty of R&R &R and, and plenty of time to consider the spiritual aspects of life Mercury is also going into Leo on the same date the 2nd of July and this is set for Los Angeles by the way so if you're in Australia or New Zealand add an extra day to all of these because it's not exactly a day but it's like I think 15 hours or something like that so on the same day the second or the third Mercury going into Leo is going to bring great boldness drive it's like in your communications you're bound to be in the spotlight people may really pay attention to you so don't be a drama queen <laughs> relax think carefully but there's likely to be a lot of bright communications around you as well then on the 5th of the 7th the new moon is in cancer and this is new beginnings around your home and family particularly because cancer loves home and family you could be feeling very protective towards your home and family and you could be more emotional than usual but in a very sort of positive new way on the 11th Venus is also joining Mercury in Leo and you could be quite polite courteous affectionate warm it's like a double lot of warmth and love 
in Leo. Leo can be very generous and loving and kind and and so can Taurus and Libra because they are ruled by Venus. So Venus loves that. Venus loves love and so that's bound to be quite lovely on the 11th and they're on. It'll probably be there for about three and a half, four weeks so enjoy. On the 20th Mars will go into Gemini now Mars in Gemini brings a forcefulness to your communication so just be cautious because you might have more power in your communications than what you intend sometimes you might come out and they might just it, it might seem to you like something just normal but they might have more impact your communications than usual so try to use a bit of liberal energy and be a bit courteous or diplomatic more so than usual just you want to take the edge off that mars that can be just that little bit forceful and in leo it's 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 very very strong okay sorry in gemini i mean to say it's very strong because gemini is naturally communicative there's probably a good deal of wit and curiosity going on in your thinking as well you might have great flashes of insight with mars in gemini on the 20th the full moon is in capricorn on the 21st uh, of july or 22nd in australia and new zealand and the full moon here it can bring up the energy for stability maybe you know more determined than usual maybe you will just want to get on and get stuff done capricorn can tend to be rather hard working and diligent and responsible so it's maybe you don't feel like going out and enjoying yourself and you just want to get on be pragmatic do whatever is necessary to get the job done so it's like pragmatism but also practicality as well your feet on the ground and just get on with it sometimes that can create a little bit of conflict within and especially in winter time you might want to relax it is the time for for taking a bit easier not pushing yourself too much but capricorn can push you to work even when you don't want to so just bear that in mind the 22nd of july the sun goes into leo as well and the sun in leo is bright and sunny and dramatic and you're the center of attention people notice you leos are the sort of kings of the jungle everybody looks up to leos and it's quite a lovely energy however they can be sometimes a bit stubborn or they think that they're right which of course they're the king of the jungle of course they're right so happy birthday to all leos coming up early leos especially and the full moon in capricorn we talked about that we talked about the sun in leo the 25th sees mercury in virgo this is like a double lot of communication mercury in virgo can bring about a lot of thinking really sort of perhaps looking towards perfectionism uh, you're trying to get your thoughts straight maybe you're doing publishing marketing writing um, being quite creative um, mercury also looks after transactions as well it's a great time to look at your uh, spending of money and your transactions on your credit card especially now there's so many scams around it's ridiculous like i'm dealing with them regularly and so just be careful virgo will probably help you because virgo likes to be systematic and is a bit of a perfectionist so probably help you check over your credit card statements and things like that but lots and lots of communications quite an active time for you from the 25th on the 26th also sees chiron retrograde now chiron is the wounded healer and we don't tend to talk about chiron a lot some people sort of disregard chiron they say the asteroids are not important i've got chiron in my fourth house and i can certainly say it has really influenced my life quite a lot and so i don't believe that disregarding the asteroids is a good move to be quite honest so depending on where chiron is in your chart which house it's it's in you may find different areas of your life 
really becoming like sore points. So Chiron, the wounded healer, it's like you can help other people regarding these points, but it's very hard to help yourself. And with this retrograde, it's really saying the energy is more internalized. There may be absolutely no physical effect whatsoever, but with the internalized energy, you're thinking about it a lot more and you're feeling it a lot more. Okay, so... I would say look at yourself allow the healing it's coming to your attention because the healing the natural healing energy that we all have is looking to you to allow the wounds to come out so I would be doing that especially in these winter months if you're in Australia or New Zealand because you're being called to have a lot more self-reflective time all right so that's it Thanks so much for watching. I hope this is helpful for you. Check out the horoscopes, as I said, on my website. They'll be up in June, probably probably in another week or so. So that's around towards getting on towards the end of June. If you're new, subscribe and be alive. Leave a comment or a message. That would be great. Thank you so much, everyone. I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.